Hi, in this DR tutorial we'll cover how to break up a full year's worth of data into smaller and more meaningful segments. In your visualizations you might not always need or want the full year to be plotted and there are a few ways to go about limiting this information. For these examples I'm going to use a quick heat map as a way to visualize the masking of hours. So here we see a full heat map plotted. You may want to limit the number of hours plotted in your visualizations by time of year, time of day, or a combination of the two. One grasshopper approach to this is to use the sublist component found under the sets tab. We input a list of d hours and then a domain using a panel, which can be described by referencing the hours based on their number from 0 to 8,760. We can try inputting, say, 2,000 to 5,000. And then by connecting it back to our heat map, we see that we now have a restricted band. However, this method requires an understanding of which numbered hour means which day of the year and can become tedious. So the mask hours component of d hour is another method by which we can streamline this masking process. Found under d hour filter, we bring it down and it requires an input of a range of hours of the day or days of the year. For example, we could say that we want to map the hours of spring and so can simply type March 21st to June 21st. And we actually have some flexibility in how we can enter these names, whether it's March or Mar or 3. But it is important that we insert one continuous set of dates. So connecting these, we now see our new band of plotted spring hours. It's also possible to plot hours based on time of day. So if we just copy this over, we can do a combined approach where we are also plotting the working hours of the day. So say 8 a.m to 5 p.m., depending on how nice your boss is. And now we feed one set of masked hours into the second before reconnecting to our map and seeing this yet again limited set of hours. So to mastermind more complex combinations of mapped hours, we can merge multiple mask hours components into a D hour. This would be if you are trying to plot several sets of hours that aren't continuous, such as spring and fall. So let's try that combination. So we'll say September 21st to December 21st. And in this case, because they're discontinuous, we'll first merge them into a D hour. By holding shift, I can add multiple inputs and then we'll feed this into our timed masked hour component. And here we can see that we have two sets of spring and fall working hours. A word to those brainstorming further applications of this tool. The output of the mask hours can be used for many spatializations, not just a quick heat map. However, using non-continuous sets of hours may create trouble when trying to generate certain meshes. Best of luck.